Yeah, David, been going pretty well up here in Archerfield, mate. How's your year been going? Yeah, good so far. I think um, we've had six six podiums this year. Um, yeah, like we didn't do. I think we finished 13th last week. Yeah, you know, it's a bit of a bad result, but other than that, yeah, you know, we've been good. Like been making the dash nearly every time, top five in qualifying every night. Um, yeah, things are rolling good. The car just looks as though it's just been awesome this year. Tell us a bit about it, and no doubt, yeah, who's uh, doing the spinners for you? Um, this is a car we bought off um, uh, Cameron Gessner. Uh, he beat shots in this thing. Oh, when was it? The night Two shots. Two years ago. Yeah, yeah. I remember yeah. that one. Yep. Um, that this is this frame, and you know, it's awesome. We got Drew Gessner working the spanners yep. for us, and yeah, you know, he's awesome. You know, we're gelling nicely. You know, it's good. We got a good good package. Uh, Mum and Dad, you know, let us let us throw good gear, and uh, Chris Lawrence, Palabar Records for sponsoring. Yep. Um, yeah, there's no reason why we shouldn't be up there. And certainly showed that first night when Donny Schotts was here, you just about mowed him down. I reckon you might have if he didn't uh, drop a cylinder. What tell yeah. us a bit about that? Yeah, well, we dropped um, dropped the cylinder 18 laps to go. Um, you know, I hit the hit the limiter once going down the straight when I was yeah. right near him, and then you know snapped the push rod, and you know that that was it. So we did 18 laps and seven cylinders and still run him down. But yeah. you know he was still working out bugs I think with his car. But you know you look at him now, he's just He's got it sorted and he's on it. <laughs> but, you know, it felt pretty good to, to catch him and get up beside him. You know, catching him is one thing. You know, passing him is another. You know, he's the best in the world. And uh, it was pretty fun, but I liked it. But having said that, the second night that he was here on a Sunday night, I was watching him. You were out the front of a heat running the high line, and I could see he had to get up there. And he didn't really look that comfortable. You uh, seem to look, look pretty good up there these days, mate. Yeah, I, I love it. Like this car, and, and Drew and I are working out the, the finer things, you know, to, to be able to sit up there comfortably because that's where I like. Yep. Uh, I'm not, not the best at running the bottom, but um, yeah, like last week here in the feature, I had passed like five cars on the bottom because that's where the track was. Yep. I spun out up the top, like not using my brain. Um, but, you know, it, it's just so good to know you can come to the racetrack and you're going to be in the top five, you know, like every night. It's a good feeling. How much of it do you feel? Is it just lucky to get a really nice frame in a car, do you feel, this year? Um, pretty much. It's just, you know, we, we've got four cheaters or three cheaters or something, and, and this one works the best. And, yep. you know, we're struggling a bit on motors, you know, like we're looking for a motor sponsor, to, you know, to get a bigger motor. Um, you know, this thing only makes 800 horsepower and it's it's beating the guys with, you know, the best of the best money can buy. So, and they're pushing 900 these days, really, aren't they? So. Just about, yeah, like 880 and all that sort of stuff. Like yep. Kenny Mack builds a great motor at KRE, so um, yeah, it'd be good to, to get a bigger donk, but um, see what happens. So, and one of your good mates there, James McFadden, seems to be doing well. Did you get many tips off him? Not really. Not really. <laughs> um, yeah, we don't talk that much except at the racetrack and that. But yeah, you know, hats off to him. Uh, so he should be going good. Like, look at that setup there, man. Like, yeah, it's it's, it's nice. Yeah, so it. Uh, it's all good. So looking at it, you also ran down south a couple uh, couple nights. How'd you go down there? Uh, we raced Warnable, um, what was that, for that twin 20 lap uh, feature race. But, you know, it rained like three times while we were there. I think we, we time trialled seventh, um, which was good. Um, I think we finished eighth in the feature, okay. I think, and they only did one feature. So, yeah, it was a bit of a bummer. But, um, yeah, you know, you're just good to get away every now and then to do something faster instead of just running around this little boring all the time. So any plans to go down there for the Classic or maybe head over to Australia, South Australia for the title? Uh, it, it's kind of hard because now I can't go away again. I've used the round. I can only drop one round here. After the KRE Series. Yeah, because yeah. I'm committed to the Series here. We're leading the MSAQ in uh, fourth or fifth in the KRE. So I, the goal is this year to win both of them. So. Uh, you know, it, it, I would like to go to the classic and title, but you know, I just we can't get away. That's right. Yeah, it does, it does actually coincide the same weekend, doesn't it? Yeah, it, it's disappointing. You know, like everyone putting the races on the same time, but yeah, you know, that's the way it goes. Looking at here tonight, you've got a pretty heavy, uh, heavy hitting field. What's your approach going to be? Just chuck it on the high line and hang on to it, or you think you'll maybe look at the low line to try to get forward a bit? Well, yeah, I don't know. Just be smart. Like wherever the car isn't uh, in front of me, <laughs> try and go try that go way. There. Yep. But you know, it, I'd much rather. It normally, you know, when these caliber drivers are here, it's always around the top or something, you know, because they're so fast, they move around. Yep. It's not like the local guys, man, just stick to the gutter. You know, it, that's boring, but I'm, I'm excited, I can't wait. And that's something that a lot of people may not realise, just the average punter on the hill, that does take a lot of cars to actually get that high line in. It's not a matter of, oh, well, you can just chuck it on the high line, exactly. you've got to have a few other guys exactly, there. Exactly, yeah. One, one car, like everyone's running the bottom, so they're throwing the marbles and all yep. that up. 
up where you want to run and as soon as you put the car on there after that's happened you know you just sit there go nowhere or spin out but you get a few guys up there um, yeah it's doable well Dave thanks for your time it's been great to watch you this season I can't see why you can't stay on top of those point scores and uh, maybe uh, take home yeah for, for your sponsor time absolutely no thank you and um, I hope all goes well I'm Clinton Cook reporting for Sprinko World thanks for watching